What's up, YouTube? It's Carolina Cowell coming back to another YouTube video. Um, I want to talk about the NFL Week 16. Um, I went 14 and two last week. You know, d did pretty good. The reason I'm doing this video early is because you know, of course, we have two games. Um, if you want to say today, it's about 5:30 in the morning, and I'm just getting back in the house. Hence why I got toboggan, got the coat on. Yeah, it was just really cold outside. Um, still got the the beard. Um, hopefully that'll be cut off by the end of the weekend. Um, I, I guess I kind of wanted to rock this for just a little while, but you know, whatever. I want to go ahead and quickly get through these games. It was um, really tired. Uh, the Thursday night game was between uh, Tennessee Titans, Jacksonville Jaguars. I picked the Titans. Jaguars won, so I start 0 and 1. You know, that's the flip of the coin game and you know you see how it went <clears throat> um let me see the two games on Saturday let me get over to those really fast there, there we go um the Philadelphia Eagles who need you know they need this game because you know they're, they're fighting for this um division and and or a wild card. Um, I, th I really think they, the only way they're going to make the playoffs is by winning the division. Um, they head to Washington. Washington can play spoilers to play the Redskins. Um, I'm picking the Eagles in this game. I think the Redskins, you know, they, it seems as though they've lost all faith in RG3. And you, know, you can tell. I mean, the coaches are giving up on them and all that. And they have a problem at, quarterback, at the quarterback position. I like the Eagles. Although, although I do not like Mark Sanchez, I like the Eagles in this game. Next game, the um, San Diego Chargers head to San Francisco to play the Niners. The Niners were eliminated last week by the Seahawks, um, so they're not no longer in playoff contention. They, uh, I want to say with all the talent this team has, they had some disappointing losses, man. Um, I, I thought they were, I thought they were primed to really compete for that division, and you know it's it's been all Cardinals. And all Seahawks this year, mainly the Seahawks. I like the Chargers in this game. Um, huge letdowns by the Niners, and, and includes you know there was some injuries, especially to that linebacking core, and I think it really hurt this team. I'm gonna take the Chargers in this game though. <clears throat> Sunday, one o'clock. These are one o'clock games. Minnesota Vikings head to Miami to play the Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins, I still think, can play for a wild card. And I think they do win this game. Uh, you know, the Vikings have, I will say, without AP all year, kind of overachieved. You know, you, you say overachieved for a six and eight team, but you know they don't have a bunch of talent. Bridgewater is definitely a huge bright spot for them, though. But I'm gonna go with the Dolphins in this game. Um, next game, the Baltimore Ravens had the Tennessee, uh, Tennessee, Houston to play the Texans. Um, I will take the Ravens in this game. While Houston, you know, they've had some, they have some good games, just too much inconsistency, inconsistency, especially from the quarterback position. I like the Baltimore Rays in this game. Next one o'clock game, Detroit Lions head to Chicago to play the Bears. Bears could also play spoilers. Um, the Lions currently lead the division, and will more than likely uh, the final week of the game, which there's only two weeks left, you know, including this one. Final um, week of the week of the season, Detroit Lions play with Packers. That will just, that will more than likely decide the division. Um Lions already won one, so if they win the next division is theirs. I got the Lions beating the Bears. Bears have way too many problems. They don't even another team that does not trust their quarterback. Um you you could tell the offensive line didn't do a good job protecting it. It didn't seem like they wanted to protect Jay Cutler. And I I like the Lions. I think whatever quarterback they pick back there, Lions can get pressure on. Next game, Cleveland Browns head to Carolina to play the Panthers. Panthers are still fighting for that um, that South, that horrible NFC South. I'm going to pick them in this game. No Cam Newton, obviously, um, with the circumstances, with the accident, you know, his back injuries, he's not going to play. He's, he's going to be out the rest of the season. It's going to be Anderson, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be Derek Anderson. Um, I like the Panthers. I thought they looked really good. Uh, they didn't look that good, but you know I like them against. The, I like that victory against the Saints, and 
they played good in the Tampa Bay game. Almost gave it away in the end, but they played pretty good, finished it out. <clears throat> so I'm going to pick them in this game to stay in the hunt for that division. Let's see, next game, big, big game right here. Atlanta Falcons head to New Orleans to play the Saints. The Falcons have already beaten the Saints. If they can complete a sweep, they will have the lead in the division <laughs> um, because they, they already beat the Panthers. They will have the lead in division, so this is a very important game. I say this, and they played pretty good against Green Bay. I'll, I'll give them the credit. They played pretty good. They were able to put up some points. It was a, essentially a shootout. Um, of course, they ended up losing, but made a great effort. I like the Saints in this game, though. Um, they're at home, and that hasn't meant much this year, but I think Drew Brees will, you know, Falcons have not been good in away games. And I think Drew Brees can really move the ball against that defense. No, that's not to say that the Falcons, the Falcons might put up some points. I think it's going to be a shootout, in my opinion. Next game, Green Bay Packers had the Tampa Bay play the Buccaneers. Packers all day. Now, although they looked, they looked horrible against the Bills, the Bills' defense has been playing really good this year. And it's one of the defenses that has constantly been overlooked. Yeah, the, a lot of people not giving that Bills defense credit. Um, they played uh, Philip Rivers well. They played Peyton Manning well. The defense, you know, defense has played some good quarterbacks. You know, Aaron Rodgers made them look probably his outside of the Seahawks game at the start of the season, probably his worst game of the year. But I'm gonna go with the Packers. The Buccaneers have a lot of problems. Give me the Packers. Next game, the Kansas City Chiefs had to. Pittsburgh plays Steelers. Steelers is still playing for the division and or a wild card. I like the Steelers in this game. I think it's going to be a close game. The Chiefs, you know, Chiefs are still a good team. But I like the Steelers. You know, Chief, Chiefs playing a tough division um, with the Broncos and the Chargers being there. And the, the AFC has been pretty good. It's been pretty stacked. You know, a lot of, a lot of teams fighting for that wild card. Because the Chiefs are not going to win that division. Next game, New England Patriots head to New York to play the Jets. The Jets played them pretty good last, you know, last time they played. But I think this Patriots team is completely different. Um, defensively, has been one of the key things that no one actually act, actually talks about. But the secondary has played great. Reeves has been one of the best corners in football, if not the best. Only guy you could say has been better is uh, Sherman. You know, you got some Fonte Davis has been pretty good, but only guy you can really say has been had a better year is Sherman. Reeves has been a beast. Definitely um in his New York Jet form uh, a few years back. I like the Patriots in this game. Jets, as I said, too many problems at quarterback. Um not enough receiver not enough receivers. Defense can't stop the pass, and that's one thing the Patriots one of their strengths on offense. Give me the Patriots on this one. Next game, I believe that will, this is the start of four o'clock game. New York, New York Giants head to St. Louis to play Rams. Rams have been playing teams pretty good. They lost against the, uh, they lost against the, <clears throat> they lost against the Cardinals um, last week. That was a Thursday night game. Uh, I'm gonna pick them against the Giants this week. I think they come back with a win. You know, neither team is really playing for anything. The next next game, Buffalo Bills, who still playing for a wild card at eight and six, had to Oakland play the Raiders. Oakland, you know, Oakland can play spoilers. I like the Bills. That defense has been playing great. I really think they're gonna stifle that Oakland offense. You know, or lack thereof. Last of the four o'clock games, Indianapolis Colts had to Dallas play the Cowboys. Tough game for Dallas. Very tough game and Marco Murray, you know, he is, as you know, he had surgery on his hand, so his status is day to day. We don't know if he's gonna play or not. I'm pretty sure he will, but how effective will he be with holding the ball with that hand? Especially when a lot of guys are you as a running back, um, with a messed up hand, it's gonna be difficult to play. Hmm. I'm gonna take the Colts. I think the Colts beat him. 
And the Sunday night game, Seattle Seahawks head to Arizona to play the Cardinals. And I believe this, I believe this game is for whoever wins this game. Seattle can essentially have number one in the NFC and pretty much play for home field advantage. So it's a very important game. It's very important for the division because the Cardinals win. They get a uh, they get lead over the. They they possibly you know they they get that much closer to winning that division and getting the number one seed. I like the Seahawks. The Seahawks when they got Bobby Wagner back when they got Cam Chancellor back he actually got healthy healthy. I think the defense is back in in this um, Super Bowl form. You know not as good as they were cause in the Super Bowl but I think they've gotten their championship form. So give me the Seahawks in that game. And the, the Monday night game, Denver Broncos hit the Cincinnati play the Bengals. like the Broncos in it. Although Peyton um, has been struggling, uh, he was dealing with uh, flu-like symptoms in the last game. I think he I think he bounces back with a good game. And I like what that, the guy C.J. Anderson, I like what he's been able to do in the run game. Offensive line has been able to block. Von Miller on the defensive side of the ball has been a beast. Um, I guess he's definitely been a guy who's been going under the radar, especially after coming off that big injury last season. Give me the Broncos in that game. And that pretty much does it for week 16. Um, after this week, uh, we have one more week left. You know, teams are still going to be more than likely be fighting for, I know the NFC East is going to be fighting for that uh, win in that division. The South is also going also gonna to be fighting the North, NFC North. Um... Possibly NFC West. You know, of course, you got the wild card battles. AFC, in terms of division, only division that's really uh, up for grabs is AFC North. East has already been won by the Patriots last week. The West has <clears throat> the West has already been won by the Broncos, and the South has already been won by the Colts. So those divisions on the AFC have been pretty much outside of the North. Has pretty much um, already been grabbed. It's just you know going down to the, who's going to get those wild cards. That's what's that's where is you're really going to be looking at who's going to get those wild cards. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. What's your game of the week? Um, I would say that Cowboys, you know, the Cowboys Colts game because it's a big game for the it's a big game for the Cowboys. They they really need to win that game. Um, what's your week? What, what was your record last week? And of course, after next week's picks. Um, I'll be. I, I guess I'll make a video, a short video. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Like I said, I, I'll decide how I'm gonna do it. Um, maybe I'm, I'll just do it in a different video. Also, I want to get us some MVP talks and some of the other awards. I'm making a separate video for that. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.